I've showed many tips on my channel and here is the most useful ones that I use all the time. Starting and off with a simple one, just opening your window. If you want to just open your window, don't use a gun because you will smash your window. That is not a good look. Instead, scroll to your fist and point it out the window. Then the window will roll down. Now you look nice and sensible. A lot of people were asking me in a previous video how to do a wheelie from rolling. They've seen it in my videos. Well, actually, if you do initiate a wheelie and then you let go and you let the car roll, then you can get back on the wheelie again by just pressing accelerate. So once you see your vehicle about to do a successful wheelie and it is doing, you let go manually instead of the car going down itself. So let go of acceleration, let the car roll for however long you want and then accelerate again and it will wheelie. A lot of people don't know how to do this and I've not actually seen anyone besides me do this in videos. And on some cars you can wheelie and then you can stop, roll around the corner where your friend is and then wheelie again and he will be like, how are you doing that? A lot of people don't know this, but you can actually block off the roll with a police car. So this actually works. If you didn't know, like loads of people use this for RP. When you turn the sirens on in a police car and you park in between a lane, you can block off two full lanes and the pedestrians will not pass it. It's weird. It's like the pedestrians have a block when it comes to this police car with sirens. And when you turn the sirens off, funny enough, they just drive past it like you're not there. Like you're just an obstruction. You turn it back on again and they all stop. I cannot begin to explain how much I've used this, how much I've utilized it, how much it saved me, how much it saved me from getting killed, my car getting destroyed, my car drowning. It's helped me so much. And it's the instant stop method. A lot of you already might use this. And some people might be thinking, Hella, like, why am I going to keep using this? It seems pointless. You just stop instantly. But trust me, it will save you from more ways than you think. Really, all you do is hold down, switch to character, but don't confirm when the confirm screen comes on to press circle instead. So hold down, hover over your single player characters and then press circle or be on Xbox, just back out. And your car should have just froze there. You control your friends if you're driving his car and you just instantly stop. Yeah, this one saved my life the most. So when you're by yourself, you normally want to find out what car's faster than the other and you can't figure that out with normal motion. Instead of using a stopwatch, you can actually just press down an X if you have the Rockstar editor on your PS5 version and then just record the footage and when you get to the end of your designated like strip, you can stop the recording and then right after it, it should show you what the time is. And for the tailgate arrest here, you can see 1996, so 19 seconds and basically 20 seconds. Now when you want to use another car to see if it's actually faster, which it clearly is, but once you get to the end of the strip, you can see it says 1715. And that's how you can just do it by yourself, you don't need to race someone. Now the perfect downshift is a really old one where in like second gear your car wheel spins and it's really cool because with the new HSW cars that are very torquey it works really well with them and uh, lowered cars, cars are just very torquey and it does make your car faster if you do it at a good time and when you become good at it you use it for no reason like you'll use it whilst you're casually driving like I am and it's just cool and fun and you can use it for drifting as well where it initiates the drift it adds a lot of drama into your normal drive in gta it is normally hard to get used to but when you get used to it it's so easy so you want to be traveling around 20 you just estimate estimate the speed and then whilst you're driving you want to let go of acceleration and tap handbrake and then accelerate again so really fast like tap handbrake and accelerate again and then there you go Normally I show this on my controller, I'll see if I can find footage of me doing this. And this is a really fun aspect, it just makes cars have a new meaning, or rear wheel drive cars. I must clarify that, it's rear wheel drive cars. You can do it in all wheel drive cars, but it's not that effective. And then you can incorporate this to make your car faster, so you can just accelerate and then tap R1, accelerate again really fastly, and yeah, it's really cool I think. This is how to get a unique two-tone or three-tone or four-tone per lesson. It's actually very simple. It works with anything, any car, but you do need the crew color. So if you don't like your current crew color, you can change the current crew color. And all you do is first of all, equipped a chameleon paint that you want the per lesson off. You can sometimes see this. You can see this here on the Eudora. You can see the per lesson effect and that per lesson effect will be on the crew color that you've got on your current crew right now. So once you've found the correct color, just select onto it and then go to crew color. Now that per lesson should be on your crew color and then you've got unique effect that you can't really get anywhere else. 
How to keep your wheel turned when you park up. Let's say you're going to the closed door or somewhere or you're with your friends and you want your wheel to keep turned like you can't normally do that without being in the car and turning it. But you, can, but with this trick, you can get out and your wheel will be turned. All you have to do is sit in whatever vehicle you're trying this in and you can do it for your friend. It can be his vehicle or pedestrian vehicle. All you do is press X or whatever the duck button is when your character ducks in the car. Hold handbrake, whichever button that is for you, and fully accelerate. So you're holding all these in at the same time, and then half turn your analog stick, so your wheel's like half turned. And then the most difficult part of this is pressing triangle whilst you're doing all these things. So wait about five seconds and then press triangle. And when your character's getting out, you obviously wanna let go of everything. Sounds complicated, but if you just listen to this part again, you'll realize it's quite easy to do. Let's just say you have a pedestrian vehicle or you have a vehicle that you want to repair in free mode and you can't normally do that. If you get a police car, normally there'll be bullet holes because you killed the police and you shot the police and you just want to repair that car, but you can't because you can't go into LSE. Well, this is one way you can repair the vehicle. If you go into your interaction menu, you go on preferences and press map blip options. Make sure your jobs are on show. Maybe your guys' jobs are on show already, but just make sure they're on show. Get your vehicle, park half inside, a bit more than half, and then press right on the D-pad to start the mission and make sure you back out if somebody's already in it quickly before they start the mission and then the vehicle should disappear but if you keep looking around a bit it'll spawn somewhere nearby you and you'll realize it spawns cleanly and fixed like it never was damaged i will show you how to get the fib buffalo later on in this video so this one i find kind of useless just because it only gives you the first option wheel for free I mean, it can save you a lot of money if you want the Retro Steelies, for example, 26,200. Or the Rally Throwbacks, which are 35,000. It's very simple. All you do is just go on Street Wheels, spam X, and then you get Retro. You go on Stock, you spam X on Stock. Make sure you do that. And you see, I did not pay for that. I go to Track. I'll do the same. Sometimes it does take a bit of going back and forward. There we go. I did it again. So now I own the Rally Throwbacks for free. Can't really tell you why this works. It just works. So a lot of people know the FIB Buffalo from previous GTAs and I guess story mode as well. But you can actually get it online and you can drive it around. You can kind of repair it. Cannot store it in the garage. So if you want to store it, you might want to skip this one. All you really have to do is register as a CEO and then scroll down to VIP work and go down to the 12th option, Hostile Takeover. Once you're on Hostile Takeover, make sure you click on the LSIA one and press start and then go to the airport. All you do here is just kill all the guards and yeah you might die a few times i did and then just drive the fib buffalo all the way to the destination and once you get there the police will get called off now you have the fib buffalo and then from the previous tip of how i showed you can repair the car repair it using that method and everyone's going to question how you got this and with the price of the police cars in the game this is definitely a good alternative Something that's so popular that I had to leave it at the end of the video because probably most of you probably already know how to do this. But it's how to lower your car much more than the lowest suspension option. First of all, you want to make sure that your tires are on no bulletproof. You, you cannot have bulletproof tires, otherwise this will not work. Make sure it's on standard tires. Now this works on about 70% of the cars in the game. Most of the new cars, the brand new cars, most of the new cars are not able to do this. Once you've made sure you've got no bulletproof tires, all you do is shoot here. Now this is the best place. There's loads of places you can shoot. There's loads of guns you can use. I normally use the heavy sniper or I use the marksman with the silencer because the silencer is way better. You don't get cops by shooting your car. And I just shoot in this area. A lot of cars you shoot, can shoot here as well, but for the most success rate, you shoot here. If you realize that the certain car you've used is one of the rare cars that blows up if you shoot here, just shoot here instead. And as you saw, the wheels, like the suspension goes down twice. Look, one, two. And the second time it's done, you know it's done properly. And then look, look how much lower this is. That's more suspension travel than from stock suspension to the lowest suspension on this car. And this is that low that even the random online player is going to be like, hang on, there's something up with that car. That's not the way it should be. <laughs> there were the most common tips that I use all the time. Let me know if you guys use a unique common tip that I may not know. And yeah, if you want to join our Discord, it's first link in the description. Again, we do not benefit anything off the Discord. It's only to help you guys further. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one.